part two of the Heimer Pass covers the upper half of the ascent. If you intend driving this pass, it's important to watch part one first, which includes the Google Earth orientation clips, as well as other important tourism and safety information. For the next 500 meters, the road actually starts to descend at a very slight gradient, following the mountain through a shallow curve to the left. At the 3.9 kilometer mark, the road crosses a small stream, then begins to ascend sharply once more. The road twists and turns through a series of gentle corners on this climb, then drops down again into a low dip to cross a second stream. A very popular and unusual option for accommodation is to overnight in one of the two caves, both of which are within a couple of hours hike from the campsite. The Caracal Cave can accommodate 12 people, but it only has a reliable water source during the summer months. Osfulkrans Cave is much larger, but again the number of overnight visitors is restricted to 12 at a time because of environmental impact concerns. Haimua also offers some of South Africa's most exciting fly fishing. To ensure the sustainability of the wild trout, the authorities have instituted a number of control measures. A sequence of gentle left and right hand corners are followed by a long left hand 90 degree bend, which then leads up into a low ravine. At the 5.8 km mark, a very sharp 180 degree hairpin bend to the right is encountered. This bend can catch one a little by surprise, so do watch out for it. Another hairpin bend, this time to the left, follows almost immediately afterward, but this corner is not quite as sharp as the first one. Once through this second hairpin, a short straight of 200 meters takes you up to the last sharp corner of the pass, which is yet another hairpin of 160 degrees, but this one has a much wider radius. The road continues to climb steadily through a long and very gradual left-hand curve as buildings and fences begin to appear in front of you. The road turns to the right through a shallow dip, then straightens up and heads towards a small building, which is the entrance gate into the Haimua campsite, marking the summit and the end of the pass. Accommodation at Haimua consists of seven campsites which are serviced by a communal ablution block. No electricity power points are provided, but each site does have its own barbecue. A picnic site for day visitors is located close to the car park. There are a number of guest farms and lodges located in close proximity to the park if camping is not your thing. We highly recommend adding Haimua Pass to your bucket list. 